everybody. Hope everyone's uh, doing well tonight. This is just going to be um, just a quick video talking about kind of how to uh, bring the most out of materials in Lumion by uh, stopping them from tiling. This is a mistake that I've seen people make a ton of times because, um, you know, it seems like the easiest thing to do that if you're in SketchUp, you make everything that's supposed to be like a wood texture, the same color, and then you just move it on into uh, Lumion. Um, the problem with doing it uh, as simply as that is that the area in the actual Lumion file that your like plank of wood is, as opposed to the next one, then it's just going to be using almost like a, a, uh, a texture image and it's just like slapping it on. So if there's a piece of wood that's right next to another one, then you're going to just see that same pattern of wood just go right through. And you almost never get that uh, in the real world in the things like a fence. Because, um, you know, just obviously with different variations of planks, it's pretty rare that you would get a bunch that are just completely, uh, I guess, like the pattern continues. So I'm going to demonstrate this right off the bat by creating a uh, one foot by one foot square. Um, and you can choose to follow along with this one or you can just kind of... Uh, you know, you can just kind of uh, do your own thing with this. This this is, uh, it's not too, too important to actually kind of set up the tiles and everything. This is more so just uh, me showing you kind of how to um, understand this better. So if I move this over, times that by four, and then I will take this, and I'm going to times it by four again, just so we have 25 squares. Uh, what I'm actually going to do for this one as well is I'm going to copy this over one more time so that we have a separate one here. Okay, so now that we've done that, with this one, I'm gonna highlight everything. And I'm gonna throw the same material on it. And for this one, I'm going to do this. Um, now, you, there's a couple different ways that you can kind of go about um, doing this. I find the easiest for me is just to throw on a bunch of different uh, materials just so that I can see um, just where everything is spread out so I know that I didn't miss any areas. Um, I wouldn't put these tiles like of the same texture that uh, what we're doing here like next to each other. What I, but you can put them diagonally just because the pattern will be broken up enough that it won't really matter. Uh, so I'll just continue to put these on here. That'll work, that'll work, and then I'll just get one more. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop into Lumion. We're going to start the live sync. And this is what we see. Now, that is kind of what we expected, obviously. So we just have one big tile here. And this just is now treated as like one uniform square, even though we know that there's actually a grid of 25. Whereas by putting individual ones here, we've actually broken it up and we now have more control over it. Uh, with this one, we can't really, you know, like if we rotate it, then everything is going to rotate kind of like in unison. So as you can see, oh, that's kind of a bad example. Uh, yeah, heading there we go so you know it's all just going to rotate together because as I said it just having materials on top of one another just kind of turns it into a, like a plane um, but now what we can do with this one is I'll actually just copy this material and I'll throw this on that one and then I'll throw it on this one but then I'm just going to kind of take the not the bank and the pitch just the heading maybe turn that a bit and I'm going to just randomly crank the offset around and oops didn't mean to hit that so we're going to paste the material again, and like I said, then we're just going to drag this kind of all random amounts. Oh, that one actually is a little bit closer than I'd like it to be, so do like that. And yeah, so we just do this a couple times, just kind of changing the heading and the offsets. It, it can be random. It doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to kind of, as I said, just to break up the the tiling. Um, and so. Yeah, by doing this, we have identical planes, really, as a, like, you know, 25 grids each. But by doing it this way, you have way more control over it. And the one on the left, you can kind of make that into like a tile flooring. I would probably recommend just getting a real tile texture because that would already like, you know, it's if it was seamless, then it would kind of be broken up correctly anyways. But I just think that that's kind of a good example of what you can do. Uh, I am going to show one more example and um, this is the one that I always kind of see people do. Um, and it's the reason why I actually brought up the wood texture uh, in particular. So I'm going to make a 2x4 rectangle. And I'm going to drag this up like 7 feet. And now I'm going to make this a group. And I'm going to make 15 copies of these, like really close together. Something like there. So times 15. 
and I'm gonna drag this over one more time. Okay, perfect. So for the first one, we're gonna do what we did um, with our grid here, and we're just gonna go to the wood texture, and we're gonna pick, and then like, we're just gonna click one with all the same texture. And then for this one, we're gonna do the thing we did before where we're just kind of clicking on uh, random textures to help break it up. So like this, and it doesn't really, ma it doesn't matter what texture you use. Like I, I kind of try and keep it to relatively the same texture. And I actually think I'm gonna add one more in. So I'm gonna break this up a little bit more. And I think that that should be good. So we'll hop back into Lumion. Now, the best one I think I can, show this with would be like this wood flooring yeah so if we're looking at this you can see that you you can basically just see what the diffuse map or the color map is for this because the the texture is just kind of applying uniformly across it like it's almost taking a decal and just slapping it on top of the uh on top of the planks and so what i typically see people doing with this one is i think it's maybe outdoor um the one that I'm that so this is like kind of a good example of that so you can just see the pattern continuing throughout the wood and it would just never happen like that it's um, unless it was kind of designed after the fact to be like that but that's something that always stands out to me when you're seeing either animations um, or even just kind of still images like it's very easy to kind of pick that up uh, to the eye and it's something that you know it's right away you can see that and go like something's not right but if we come here and we copy that again, and we'll paste this here. Uh, this one, I don't want to change the heading as much because I kind of want it to go the... Well, actually, I guess I will change it a bit just because I want it to go straight up. So I'll make the pitch 90. And yeah, then we'll just kind of grab and move that around a bit. I'll copy this one. And then we're going to just change the offset a little bit. Uh, yeah, and you, like I said, you can just do completely random. But we don't want to. Uh, we just want to make the wood uh, grain going straight up. Uh, this one you don't want to mess with the uh, the heading, obviously. So now maybe go like this, lower that down more, and then uh, yeah, we'll just go into render mode to take a look at that. And yeah, so you can kind of see. Oh, I guess I <laughs> this one we got changed too, but. Um, let me actually just go back. I should have done this a little bit differently now that I think about it. So yeah, okay, so basically, yeah. We'll just make it like this, that's a unique texture. And then if I change that to what it was before, uh, like that. Yeah, now I have a better way of seeing it. So um, this, uh, as you can kind of see in this area here, like the patterns continuing through, but on this one, it just looks, uh, it's like random. Now you can see sort of the same marks in some areas, but I think that that's broken up enough that um, if you kind of just, you know, had like a second where it kind of glances by the fence, you're not going to pick that up. Whereas I think that someone would be able to do it with that one. It's, it's definitely um, more noticeable when you have it going horizontally. Um, so I would just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, this was just um, a quick little video I wanted to do. Um, just to kind of help give people a little more control over the materials that they have in Lumion. Um, this trick, as you can see, really doesn't take that long to set up, but it can give you a really nice effect of randomness, and it really only adds a couple of extra minutes onto uh, all of your time setting up a scene. So uh, I really hope that uh, someone found this uh, tutorial helpful. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, I would really like it if you uh, hit that button and you uh, stuck around for some more videos in the future. Um, and yeah, so I will, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. If you have any comments about the video, let me know below and I uh, hope you have a great night. See you guys.